Hey guys, Tim here, aka VS Customs SoCrawl.com. Now, this week I want to talk to you about paint. Uh, I'm just going to cover Lexan paint right now. I mean, it's the one a lot of people have problems with. They have flaking issues or just not turning out the way they want, you know, cracking in the paint, stuff like that. Um, I personally use um, Fast Color. That's what it's called, Fast Color. Just had to double check. Um, but I usually, I, I usually use Fast Color. I have been known to use spastics, um, but it is kind of hard to get that stuff around here. I have the, the Chrome from them, which is a great product. It's just, uh, I use it sparingly that I have it for when I when I really want to use it on other other items. Um, other than that, yeah, I, I airbrush everything. Now, I know Tamiya makes some paint. A lot of guys use Tamiya paints and rattle cans, and uh, it works perfect. Me, I like to mix up a, a little bit of custom colors, something that's not out there, something that's a little different, and have it stick. I'll show you the two of bodies I've painted. A lot of you uh, have seen these. The CRX and the Skyline GTR. As you can see, that's got a nice uh, pop to that purple on there. I enjoy the way this purple came out. That stripe is also painted on. There's no stickers on there. That's all paint. I mean, to get a nice graphic and you don't even realize it, to do something like that, all that is is the, the thickness of a tape line. So I, I usually use blue tape, green tape, something like that. I get my tape lines on there. The other one is actually uh, a tape that Yeah Racing puts out. You can get it at RC Mart. Um, kind of, I think they have a couple different thicknesses or widths that you can get. It's perfect. I just ran it along the side of it, made it nice and even, away we went. Now, as you can see, I have black lines. I try to do all my my door lines, all my body lines. I get that all looking good. There we go. What I usually use for my, my, my body lines. Let's see if I can get it here. There we go. One of these uh, Stedler uh, permanent Lumicolor markers. They have a very fine point on them. You can get right into where you want. You just don't really want to mark it, but go down it. Away you go. I have been known to run tape down either side of the body line. Then draw it on that way i have no issues another thing i do when i'm painting bodies is uh i put my own trim on i hate using those stickers these things let me grab it here i always find these things a pain to put on they never go on the way you want they never they, they never sit flat so what i do when you have that nice plastic coating on there that you got to peel off before i do that i take my exacto knife and I cut around the windows, I take a bit of flat black in my airbrush and I spray it on. That way you get it everywhere you want, it looks proper, it's nice and uniform, and you never have uh, any sticker bubbling going on. That's it. I even did the same, Let's see if I can pick up the body here, on the back window, but then I cut out the sticker for all the heat, the heat lines in there, or the, the heat defrost lines, and just laid that over top. So now it looks nice and uniform. It uh, doesn't look all bubbly and it works out perfect. Now when I say mixing um, custom colors, you can see some of the, the shiny flake in this. This essentially started out as this fast burgundy. I mixed in a bit of this, what is this, fast chrome and some Fast pearl black. Now this has got like a gold pearl in it, so it changes up the color a little bit, but as you can see, that's definitely not the same color. Oh, if I can get it, uh, there we go. It's gone a bit darker, it's got the flake in there. Turned out pretty good. The nice part about doing, using the proper paint, I mean, as I said, I airbrush everything. It sticks on hard. You gotta give it a couple days to dry, but once it's dry, it's, it's not, it's not flaking off, it's not coming off, it's not going to scratch through, it's going to be perfect. So, as I said, it takes a couple days, if you play with it before then, you could have issues. Um, just let it dry, just let it sit, by the time it's done sitting. What I have done before also, is once you've done your first coat, uh, let's see if I can get this off here, there we go. So I laid down the purple first, when I did the black stripe, I did the whole underside black. That way it was nice and thick and I had a double coat to it. You should always back your, your, your first color. So if you're painting, as, as for instance, this burgundy, which I won't end up backing it. I mean, it's gonna be a shelf car anyways. It's, it's, 
it's never going to be used but a car that you're normally going to use just back it with another color, whether it's black or white, if you want the dark, the color darker or the color lighter, that's what you do. Um, as, as far as airbrushing goes, you can get different kits. You can get cheap kits that run off an aerosol can. I think they're like 25 bucks, don't quote me on that, I, but I, I, they just, I think Walmart sells them. Um, but they run off an aerosol can, it's just got a little gun to it, it's plastic. You can step up to like a Badger kit and a nice little compressor. I run Iwata's, um, I mean, I've had these for for quite a few years they're a great gun they're a lot more expensive you're probably looking around 200 300 a gun um but if you're, you're looking to get something into it you can get a cheaper badger i know princess auto even sells a, a cheap kit i think they're probably like 30 bucks you can get a compressor for fairly cheap even kijiji but uh yeah i hope that helps you out a little bit gives you some ideas on on how to paint your bodies and how to take a bit of time and, and don't be scared of it it's kind of fun stuff other than that like, subscribe, and share. Hope I gave you some ideas again. And uh, you can always follow me on Instagram under VS underscore customs. And feel free to ask me any questions. I'll definitely try to help you out and try to steer you in the right direction. And don't forget, check us out on the Radio Control Network. We got Hemi Storm, RC Militia. Uh, we got Harley. I mean, there's great guys out there. Definitely follow us. Check us out. And uh, somebody's got to have something offering up to you that uh, can really help you build your, your build further on, on where you want to go. All right. Cheers. Cheers.